Welcome to this video. Today we will be testing Super Anti-Spyware with real-time protection enabled. I've got a folder with some samples of malware, 28 in total, and we're going to test to see how well Super Anti-Spyware protects us against these samples. Now just a brief overview of the procedure. In a moment I will enable Super Anti-Spyware. We'll let it sit for just a few moments to see if it detects anything on its own, after which we will run a full system scan followed by a direct scan of this samples folder. And then if there are any samples left, we will try to execute them and see the results. I should also mention that both Windows 10 and Super Anti-Spyware are up to date and real-time protection is turned on. So far, the software has not detected anything. So we're going to go ahead and start a full, complete system scan. All right, the scan has completed and it looks like it only detected one result. Uh, yeah, it does look to, like it's one. So we'll go ahead and hit continue and remove it. And we're not going to reboot just yet. Let's check our uh, samples folder here. Remember, we started with 28 and now we're down to 27. So we're going to scan this folder directly and see if it picks up anything additional. All right, so the direct folder scan is completed and it did not detect anything additional. So at this point, we're going to try to execute the uh, remaining samples. We've got quite a few here. Um, so we'll just go ahead and start down the list. All right, I've gone through the list. I did find one bad sample that I deleted. So this will actually be out of 27. And so far, I have not seen anything pop up at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to restart the computer. And then we're going to run some second opinion scans to see if anything got through. All right, the scan with malware bytes has completed and it came back with a long list of results. So we'll go ahead and get these quarantined. I ran an additional scan with MZSoft and it came back clean with zero results detected. I also ran a scan with Hitman Pro and it came back clean with zero results detected. And last, I ran a scan with Zamana and it also came back clean with zero results detected. So let's talk about the results here for just a moment. Remember, we started out with 28 samples. One of them was bad, so this is out of 27. And Super Anti-Spyware only detected one of those. I think Super Anti-Spyware is a great program for cleaning. That's why I include it in my cleaning videos. It is a very good cleaning program, but as far as a security real-time protection program, as you can see, it's not up to par with other solutions. This is why I've never recommended it as a real-time solution. And please keep in mind that yes, this is just one type of test. There are many different types of malware tests out there, but it did bad enough in this test that I cannot recommend it as a real-time solution. And also keep in mind that the professional version that includes real-time protection is not free, and so I cannot recommend to people that they spend their money when it does this poorly. But again, just to be clear, I still recommend the free version for cleaning the computer as needed. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.